So in this lesson, we'll be covering the Fibonacci tool. Now guys, I'm hoping you're starting to see a reoccurring theme in every single lesson, especially on the technical side. And that is because I want to try and point out loud and clear, everything we do here has to be approached differently to the Forex and stock market. Now, whilst the fundamentals and technicals are almost the same, the way we apply them, the way we respect them, and the way we anticipate retests of these levels have to be very different. So what I'm going to show you is, is the Bitcoin chart right now. We're currently at 5.8. We're at, no, sorry, I apologize. We actually hit 5.848, I believe it was, just to the absolute T. Now, this zone was highlighted, and it was highlighted for almost two months prior. We were expecting, once we broke out from $5,000, to actually soar straight to this level first. From there, we were expecting a slight pullback, potentially back to 5000 where we would then exceed to the higher level around 6,900. Now, people have been asking us, how did you anticipate this level? Well, besides the technicals with the lines and the horizontals and the breakouts, there's actually the Fibonacci tool. This is a very, very simple tool. But with the Forex side of this, you will know that when you use the Fibonacci tool, you do have the 38.2 and the 50% as well. Now, what you will notice with mine is I've actually completely got rid of those levels. I've done that by simply going to style. 0.382 and the 0.5 have been removed. And that's because these levels do not work with cryptocurrencies. It's a very common misconception when the price will instantly go to the 38.2. You now believe it's going to be a quick retracement and price is going to fly. It will then go to the 50%. And again, you think, cool, another retest, we're done, we're ready to go. But price never respects these levels. Almost every single time, I'd say 99%, we will hit the 61.8 or the 78.6 at least. If it is the first ever time the crypto has hit an all-time high, the retest will normally go to the 78.6. This can take a matter of weeks or months, but the 78.6 after testing new highs is very, very common especially if it's the first ever one. Now let's go to the Bitcoin example. I'll show you this again with a few examples. So we had this Fibonacci tool. And again, this has to be, I may disclose, on the weekly chart only. Because we're long-term investors, we're not looking to trade this actively. We always set the Fibonacci levels on the weekly chart. And this is because it gives us the overall long-term target. And the way these cryptos move, guys, the long-term target normally gets smashed in literally a day or two anyway. So if we get the Fibonacci, we get the weekly chart set. And now I'll show you my highlighted zone. So when I draw this, it's as perfect as possible. And again, one thing I should mention with the Fibonacci tool, it doesn't always have to be from wick to wick. This is also a case-by-case -case basis. There can be times where you draw from the wick, but then you set it to the actual body of the candle. But in this particular circumstance, we are doing wick to wick. And as you can see, we've had a perfect, absolutely perfect test of the first target we were eyeing up. And you will notice the retest actually happened dead on. A previous resistance turned support level. If we draw that here. We also correlated that perfectly with the 61.8% retest. And now we'll just draw a simple tool here. That's really all it is, guys. It's just simple patience. We waited for the breakout. We made all time highs. We already knew the only logical level of support was already the previous broken resistance at around $3,000. When you draw the Fibonacci tool and you see this correlates perfectly with the drawn levels, you already know that likelihood of price falling back here in literally the matter of two weeks, it just really puts the odds in your favor. Now, again, what I always expect is I always have a safety barrier. I always believe when it hits the 61.8, the likelihood of it in 78.6 is still huge. It's a manipulative market. So we could hit this level. We could have consolidated slightly. We could have even spiked lower, but the lower spike usually always hits the 78.6 to the absolute T. From there, we close the candle back up where we originally predicted 61.8%. From there, we soared straight to our initial target. So what I can do now is go to the daily. You can see this slightly clearer. 
And what you can see is we drop down. People may have predicted this would have spiked straight from this point. However, the candle went down straight to our level. It does not have to be perfect. We just know it's tested this level. It's correlated with two of our predicted zones. That is enough for me to continue and expect price to climb higher. And as you can see on the daily now, the price we were anticipating, the minute we've hit this level, you can already see the sell orders from institutions and market manipulators who are also eyeing these key levels. All the sell orders were set here. So the minute we've hit this price, we have shot straight down. And what's happened now is we're currently trying to find some support. And the only real logical support is at 5,000. So we may see another rollover straight to the $5,000 region. From here, we could draw a Fibonacci, and I have no doubt this should correlate to some extent. Perfect, so if we draw from this high here, again, we don't use the daily normally, but if you want to find some short-term retest zones, we can draw the Fibonacci on the daily from the lowest high. Draw this zone here. You do not necessarily need to do this, but this is how I predict zones. Again, you can draw that down to, in fact, I'll make this zone wide. I'm going to predict this zone. Price could easily fall within this region here. So we have some key levels of support and resistance here also. So this can be expected. So what I would recommend, if you're looking for short-term pullbacks and where price may go, keep the Fibonacci on the daily tool. However, if you want to just be patient and how we recommend investing at Cryptonary, only draw the Fibonacci on the weekly and just wait out the next expected move. So if we go to the XRP chart, again, one of my favorites. When we were anticipating a fall from the all time high, we already knew the 78.6 or the 60 would be hit at some point. So what we've done is we draw the tool from the bottom to the absolute top. And one thing you'll notice straight away, this zone is almost essentially a backup zone in a worst case scenario. But what you do notice is if I wipe out this zone completely, forget about the 78.6, look at the 61.8. This correlates almost pinpoint to the support level we drew of around 16.6 cents. Not only that, but when we did finally gain some support, we spiked up, we tested the counter trend, we came down. When we tested the main trend line, you will notice three of these candles respected the 61.8% perfectly. Now we've broken through, we've had plenty of correlations. Now guys, if we go to the extension for this, we can see we have almost 55 cents and 70 cents. Now, this is very unexpected. People do not believe price will reach this level. But if the Fibonacci's are being respected on the weekly and on the long-term chart, the long-term levels are very likely to be met. So you have to keep this in mind. Now again, experiment, practice. Do what you believe works the best. Always practice on the weekly chart. Now what could happen is, I could do this as an example. I believe this didn't actually work as a valid Fibonacci level. So what happened here was, this did not work at all. That's fine. That just means we can't really find a good entry point. And that also means we shouldn't really try and risk it. If anything, we have to just wait in these scenarios and hope the price will retest this level. Because the way cryptocurrencies work, and I've mentioned this in the previous few lessons also, you are noticing now a slight pattern. No level is perfectly respected. So this doesn't, in my opinion, this does not necessarily count as a Fibonacci bounce. And I would not have actually entered from this position. It would only be once price re-entered our resistance level, I probably would have entered. We would have made a bit of a loss in terms of the jump from here to here, but it's all about the confirmations. The last thing you want is price to shoot up only halfway and it just consolidates. You enter thinking this is technically a bounce from this level, and then the price just melts straight down, an instant 20-30% loss. So you have to be cautious, you have to be patient, and just really wait for the weekly Fibonacci to pan out. So now let's move to the next lesson. Again, I hope the notepad has come in handy with you throughout these lessons. And at the end of the day, it's the real time chart work you put in that is going to pay the biggest dividends. So practice, practice, practice on these charts. See you in the next lesson.